Hello Seeker, welcome back to The Existential Shift. If you're new, my name is Morgane. This is a reading for Sagittarius for September. Whew. You know, we think to ourselves, 2020 is almost there. It's almost over. It ain't over until your season. It ain't over until Sagittarius sings. What is happening with Sagis for this coming month? Please, messages for Sagis. Clear guidance. Four of Cups. You feel a lot, but it's doubtful. It's almost like you're not even sure what you're feeling. It's like you're, you're overwhelmed with emotion, maybe like uh, a knot in the stomach, rapid heartbeat, a little bit confused in your mind, and you're like, don't even know why you're feeling all these things. It's like insecurity and doubts coming up onto the surface, and you're like, where is this coming from? Why am I feeling this? Why am I insecure, timid, confused, worried? I'm not used to feeling like that. I'm Sagittarius. I'm the bomb. You are the bomb. <laughs> It's a little bit overwhelming emotionally. It's almost like you've done maybe some, some a lot of shadow work and emotional awareness, and now things are like starting to peak, raise their head above the surface of your subconscious. And it starts with the emotion. It's it's not necessarily cognitive or 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 understood, but it's just there. It's like you're feeling these things and you're like, what is happening to me? King of Cups. Beautiful. It's very, very good, actually. It's part of your um, emotional growth and mastering. The King of Cups is the master of the realm of emotion, right? Of the suit of cups. He knows how to function. In deep emotions. He knows how to balance them out. He knows how to communicate them properly. Not overspilling it, not shutting it down. But I'm picking up that it's a little bit challenging for you. It's almost like you're you're at the verge of being a king of cups. One la one last flood of emotions to <laughs> to figure out, to work through, to process. But here you are, King of Cups, fully aware of how you feel and what you want. And it's wholesome and it's complete. And again, it's a little bit overwhelming because you, you can escape how you feel by tending to a lot of tasks, Sagittarius. It's something you can do very well. Oh, I'm not emotional oh i'm not missing this person oh i don't care about that person oh i don't need this want this la la la, la. i don't i'm and then you do right you do the actions to kind of deflect your heart from feeling what it wants to feel and here you are though standing still allowing wow you're just sitting with it with all these <laughs> with all these waves you're not trying to fight them. You're not trying to swim through it. You're not trying to escape to shore. You're not trying to dive too deep. You're just standing in the water and the waves are coming and you're letting it, you're letting it, you're letting it. And there are fields, so many fields, and you're letting it. You're letting the, 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 the tears roll down your cheeks. I've spoke about it before, but I don't remember in which video, but biologically, the reason why we cry, our tears hold uh, chemicals of stress. Stress, fear, anxiety, and that's how the body releases these things outside of its system, by crying them out. Tears are very healing. Let it roll.
maybe you're an empath and you're used to being overwhelmed with emotion and now you're like you've learned how to not let it drown you Sagittarius what an interesting and then we have two of wands and princess of wands aka page of wands It, it cleans house. It makes way to clarity when it comes to what you want. It, it clears away confusion because when you are overwhelmed with emotion without addressing it or without allowing yourself to even feel it or to acknowledge or admit it, it kind of drowned your, your genuine will and desires. And now that it's like tamed, you yourself are liberated your will what it is that you actually feel like doing in the moment before that you thought you felt like going out for a really fast run and ignore all your incoming calls and texts because you just feel the urge to to run and ghost everyone um, but it was just ways of escaping your emotion Prince of Swords, a.k.a. Knight of Swords. Now that you're not trying to run away from your emotion, you understand that you don't actually want to go out for a really fast run and ignore the world. You actually want to talk to someone about something that you feel. Address an issue, something that bothers you. If you used to run away from it, ignore Now you're like, no, I can do this. I can talk to this person. I can say the words. I trust myself. There is someone around you. You're constantly, as you try to run away physically, you're constantly looking back at them to see what's going on with them. Or it could be vice versa. Someone is like that with you. There's a gas breaks type of energy. Listen, Sanji. Stop, sit, call them, talk to them, or answer them. Whatever is applicable. I'm really picking up that a conversation needs to be had. Show me more for Sagittarius, please. Less advice from other people who are not involved. Speak to the person relatively directly. If you have doubts about someone or something, instead of driving yourself crazy by seeking advice from people who don't know the, that person or who just make assumptions um, based off of what you tell them and without really knowing that person's core or essence or how they operate, um, it's just going to sabotage. Directly to the person. Right? You have a question about me, talk to me. You have a question about your friend, talk to your friend. Instead of talking to me about your friend and, 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 and with your friend about me. You can do it as an addition. And then also be very discerning. But first and foremost, speak to the relevant person. Show me more, please, for Sag. September. Five of Pentacles. There, if you were to hold it in and build up, you know, towers of assumptions in your head and seek advice and get bad advice, it will really sabotage the connection. And Five of Pentacles is like really killing something, honestly, really losing something. Um, four of Swords. I can't stress this enough if I'm catching you before the sabotage. Speak to the person. Tell them what's on your mind, what's bothering you. They might tell you like the simplest 
the simplest explanation instead of because there is a the risk of loss here nine of wands and the thing is once that happens it's going to be very very difficult and going to take a really long time to turn back the wheel and to get it back to being fluid and sincere and trusting between the two of you so once again I recommend not lash at the person not yell at the person not talk at the person but with the person see what they have to say show me more for Sagi look at that what happens if you do that if you choose to ten of pentacles if you choose to honor the possibility of a positive explanation where everything is actually fine and you just and you were just being dramatic or sensitive I'm just gonna say um, what can happen is a very peaceful resolution going from a lot of doubts and insecurity in regards to what's going on between you and your person going from five of pentacles to ten of pentacles for, from complete loss oh nothing can uh, to everything now obviously this does not apply to people who told you they don't want to speak to you I'm referring to for example if there's someone in your life and you're in contact with them but you're dismissing them ghosting them because you're paranoid and you're making you're creating big stories in your head and then they're going to respond to your behavior and be like okay Saji doesn't want to talk to me or Saji now is ghosting me or Saji now is whatever and before you know it they'll be out the thing is it's not so easy like it was to have narcissistic attributes save your ass. What do you mean by that? People are mature, wiser, stronger. They care about themselves more. We, we're starting to drift away as a collective from the victim mentality, little by little, but still. People are, you know, geared towards taking care of themselves and not repeating negative cycles. So if you show someone that you're sabotaging or um, hurting and based off nothing, based off assumptions, then they might not want to give another chance. Maybe they've already given another chance and this is like third times not a charm. But this case... It can be it can really be saved I'm really picking up strongly to convey calmly with this person anything else we will continue this in the extended focusing on this love relationship if this is love and if this is not about love then we will pick up on you and your person of interest we will see into your mind and heart space their mind and heart space the dynamic and how everything unfolds in this coming month for you including finishing up with messages from the celtic runes so that's going to be fun you can find it I'm, I'm not done yet i'm just telling you about the extended you can find it on patreon you can still purchase it separately on vimeo but i would really really love it if you'll check out patreon you have all the extended there for all the zodiac signs um not just for this month but past months for unlimited streaming you also have extra vip content like um daily rune messages and lunar love readings every new and full moon but that are geared specifically to my patrons um karmic shift and liberation special project is on tier number three you have all the signs there it's really fun and it really helps support the channel and me so i want to thank all my patrons um thank you for joining the tribe the smaller tribe <laughs> uh, yeah and if you want to study tarot, tarot masterclass, bunkai, secret applications of the tarot, it's for beginners and professional tarotis alike. It's very wholesome. I recommend my own class. 
After Ten of Pentacles, we have the Hermit for you. I feel like once you reach a certain resolution in Virgo season, and it's very much Virgo season, I think it's before Libra season, it's before the 20th of September, like towards mid-September, right? Um, you will have this need to take your time and ponder about the life you've lived, the life you have, and the people around you. This might involve an older family member and a connection to them. Um, there might be a gathering of some sort revolving an older family individual. If this is someone that you lost, I'm sorry. Um, so it's an honoring of them living or not living anymore. Um, there's a gift that they want to bestow upon you and it, it has been delayed for a while but I'm seeing you receiving it in Virgo season interesting Clarify this a little longer, please. For Saji, can you clarify this, please? It's Ten of Pentacles and the Hermit. Anything else Saji needs to know about this? The World and Six of Swords. Something to do with distance, with travel, with um, foreign country. Ace of Cups. It's a good thing. It's 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 a gift that brings a. Um, closure of some sort it will require like the gift will need to travel or something like that or you will need to travel um, but it's it seems like something that you've been waiting on for a very long time Saji it's, it's something it's been a long time coming uh, can you clarify this five pentacles and four of swords please for Sagittarius Ten of Wands, and we have Nine of Wands on the table. Yeah, it's something that you've been, um, something that has been lingering and waiting for a very long time. That really needs to be resolved, and it gets resolved quite well. It, and it's, it serves as a really, really big relief where you're feeling like, oh, finally. Clarify Princess of Wands and Prince of Swords, please. Page and Page of Wands and Knight of Swords for Sagittarius of September. Um, it's the Golden Dawn Tarot, in case you're wondering. Clarify Princess of Wands and Prince of Swords for Sagi. The Sun. Suddenly I'm picking up on like family stuff, like um, possibly siblings or. Cousins, there might be communication about that. If you communicate, it will turn out really, really well. The sun. The sun is a very positive card on all aspects and all levels possible. Um, wonderful harmony, joy, open heart, success, wish fulfillment, health, abundance, it's just really, really, really positive. And I feel like if you were to communicate with this person that we spoke of in the beginning, it will turn out really well. It seems like it anyway. Okay. I will continue this in your extended. Focusing on love. Thank you for being here. If you're new, subscribe to my channel. Press the bell button next to it to receive notifications. Um, I'm on Instagram, The Existential Shift. Watch your other placements. You know all the drills. And and once again, I want I want to really thank you for being here. Thank you for your support. Have a wonderful September, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.